Good day everyone! So today, we'll be tackling our Forbay Diagram. The Forbay Diagram is an equilibrium diagram that we've already studied in Math 101. This tells us the stability of species with respect to potential. The potential natin is at the x, at the y-axis, and your pH in the x-axis. And our metal can either not react with the environment, Pwede siya mag-form ng oxides na solid or hydroxides. Or pwede siya mag-form ng dissolved ions. Ions that are cut ions or anions that are dissolved in our aqueous media. And depending on the form of our metal, it can either be immune, it can show immunity, pwede siyang mag-corrode, or then corrosion, or it could, it might, pwede, maybe, pwede tayong mag-turn ng passivation. So take note, oxide, does not mean, not always, na meron tayong passivating layer. So a passivating layer is a thin layer of material which prevents the further oxidation or the further corrosion of our metal. Sometimes we form oxide layers which cannot passivate. So case in point is in iron. If nakita na kayo ng iron na nag-rust, which sure naman ako nakita na kayo, unless sobrang sheltered nyo na wala kayo kalawang sa bahay nyo, makita nyo yung flake off yung iron oxide from the surface. This makes it not effective as a passivating layer because it's not this does not prevent the further corrosion of our iron. So, but we'll be tackling naman our passivating and our oxides in a future video. So, the lines in our Corbet diagram, this represents the equilibrium reactions between the different stability regions of our diagram. So in this case, let's focus on AL and AL3+. Zoom in. Yes. So let's focus on the line between AL and AL3+. And this shows us the equilibrium reaction. Let's say we're going from AL to AL3+, by increasing the potential, we'll have this reaction. If we decrease our potential from AL3+, we get AL in the reverse reaction. In the Porbe diagram, move again, we also have the dashed lines. These dashed lines are what we call your water stability lines. And the water stability lines tell you the stability of water. More importantly, it tells you what kind or what dominant water reaction we have. So depending on the potential in the pH of our water or for our aqueous media, there will be different half reactions that we have to consider. This one, this one, or this one. So in the cases of this, ito yung magiging parang cathode natin, or ito yung magiging cathode, cathode natin in our uh, corrosion reaction. So dapat aware din tayo dito sa water stability regions na. And also, the lines in the poor B diagram could also move depending on the concentration for ions in the medium. So if you recall in your math E101, binibigay din namin yung concentration, let's say, in Al3 plus or in Al2, Alo2 minus, or the ions that dissolve in our environment. Since depending on the concentration of our ions, this will shift the stability lines or in the stability regions of our metal. So in this case, our metal is decreasing or yung stability region ni AlO2 minus decreases with decreasing AlO2 minus and decreasing Al3 plus concentration. So, ang pinaka-important talaga sa atin in our corrosion studies or in our degradation studies is that we can use our Corbet diagram for corrosion prevention. Since by knowing the environment in which our, let's say, iron is exposed to, so in this case, let's say your iron is exposed to standard or normal environment, so we have zero potential and a pH of neutral, seven, so your iron would be here. And makita natin, it is in the stability region of Fe2+, an ion. This means, nagkokorot siya. Ayaw natin yun. 
So to prevent corrosion, we can remedy the situation by looking at the 4B diagram and applying different techniques. One, we can apply negative potential, so this is our cathodic protection, to confer immunity to our ion or to our iron by turning Fe2 plus to Fe metal. We can also increase our potential. This is your anodic protection to form an oxide layer. Or pwede rin, we can increase our pH again to form an oxide layer. Ito naman is what we call your passivation. So by shifting around our pH and potential values, we can go into regions in which our metal could be protected from corrosion. So now that we know how to interpret, how to read, our Fourier diagram we can go to this part, the construction of the Fourier diagram, which is not a part for school anymore. So, nung Math E101, ito naman yung ginawa nyo. So, hindi na natin siya uulitin for now. And masaya na kami na marunong kayong magbasa ng Fourier diagram. So, with that, I end this video. Thank you and have a nice day.